Hey guys, welcome to Live in Color. What's that live in? Well, first, I want to say long live PNB. Tragic news, you heard with his passing. And another message I want to say to everybody, like, especially like now, like rappers and people who's making money like crazy, like, stay out of LA, man, because this is not the only instance that happened in LA. You heard about Sauce Walker? Oh, yeah, I heard about him. Yeah, look at this little clip, fam. Hey, man, I really ain't want to speak on this shit, but. I know it's too many young black kings and young kings out there that's being misled and misguided wrong, learning half of the game and not the whole game. So y'all need to learn from this experience that I went to tonight because being a rapper is one of the most dangerous jobs in America. And there's a lot of young men out here that want to do this shit, but don't know that's everything fine. that come with it. But I want to speak on this part right here, understand this. Everybody don't go. Everybody don't go and everybody ain't going. And I'm one of them people that's not going. So unfortunately, tonight somebody lost their life for doing something stupid. Mm. And I don't know how it happened or what was going on, but I really would like all the young black men around here to learn before all the tabloids and the bullshit getting the fake stories get out there. I want y'all to learn from this experience. And I'm still standing here 10 toes down, all my jewelry and everything that I worked hard for. I don't want you to go through these dumb ass situations for doing something stupid that somebody taught you or led you to do. Damn, he ain't lying, bro. Now, like, he, after he dropped that, which, you know, they, they said somebody died off it because he was trying to drop, still his children, <laughs> right? But the thing is, the family member was like, Cap. They made it seem like he was capping about the situation because it was just, that was their family member. Take a look at this one. Basically, Sauce Walker wasn't the person who pulled the trigger. Actually, there's a video of the person allegedly who pulled the trigger with the guy running down the street, and that's clearly not Sauce Walker, okay? But regardless, the point that he was trying to make is that niggas are not going for it. That's what he was telling you. Like, hey, you try you try a nigga, you try to snatch the chain, your ass won't end up where you end up. That's what he was saying. There's a clip. He's going he's gonna to explain that more. But, but that, I don't think that was, that was not his point, though, at the end yeah. of the day. His point was like, yo... You young niggas need to stop doing that shit because you're going to end up where you end up. No, no, that's right, that's right. But he's going he gonna to elaborate the whole story and it's going to make sense. But look at this. said, bro did not try to take nothing from you. You was downtown LA picking with people all night and ran across the wrong one. And since you couldn't catch the fade, you shot bro. This is cap. Robbery is cap. Why your face scratched up? Why blood on your shoes? Why would somebody rob someone in front of where they live at? Okay, so if... See, that's why the family was like, this is front of his house this happened. He said, why would he be stupid enough to rob somebody? Right? You'd be surprised. But come to find out, Sauce Rocker talk his stuff. And now it all makes sense. Right? Look at this. So here we are. I already knew this dumb ass shit was going to happen and somebody was going to try to change a tragic story into a dumb ass story because it was all this dumb ass shit that happened. But the only reason why I'm even considering doing this is because I want to bring some closure and some clarification to the families and the sister of this brother that mistakenly, tragically lost his life in this dumb ass situation for no reason. And for the family having to see their family member body slain and slandered all over the internet for no motherfucking reason. But it also, I also was trying to keep it so G in the situation that I didn't even want to incriminate or put the person in trouble that could have harmed my life mm. and then took this other man's life in this that situation. That makes sense why he told the story the way he did. Yeah, everything makes sense. Right. Not I mean, cap, not cap, not cap, he's everything. not trying to incriminate the person that did it, so of course he's going to leave some stuff out the story. Mm -hmm. Okay. Exactly but since all the information is already public and out, now we can speak on it. What happened was, and what I said in the original video, like I told y'all, I don't know what's going on and how it went on. We all trying to find out the rest of this information, but what I do know is that everybody ain't going. Guns kill everybody, but everybody is not scared of guns. And tragically, what happened is like you see on my, you think a nigga wanna make up a black eye and all this dumb ass shit. What happened was I fought for my life 
and fought for my jury and my belongings and got me and my men up out the situation and up out of there and, and, and squabbled myself out of a situation Man, where crazy, a firearm man. was put in my face. Half of you, half of you motherfuckers wouldn't even fight a motherfucker with a, with a butter knife in their hand. Mm. And, Man, and tragically, after that situation, the same motherfucker that, that I made this person run out from the but situation. You know what? It's crazy, this jewelry snatching culture. For some reason, with the rappers, it, it became a thing. There's so many times we hear rappers say, oh, oh, yo, um, this so-and-so, you know, niggas out here snatching jewelry. This is not the first time, though. From a failed, failed robbery attempt, ran off and ran into another man and tried to rob this man. And this man did the same thing that I did because he was a black king, a black warrior, somebody that fought hard for whatever he had in life. He had his firearm on him and he shit, wasn't though. going. And unfortunately, in his situation, he lost his life. I could have lost my life as well. I, we both made the same uh, erratic, irrational decision because we, we want this, we, we not going and we're trying to live and die for what we have. So unfortunately, you... somebody did something stupid and a man lost his life, I and I could have been that man lose his life too because I made the. I'm also somebody that do stupid shit that's gonna fight for what fight for what I have. Just like this man tried to fight for what he have. And, and what I like about him, he's not glorifying what he did. He's letting people know, like y'all need y'all need to see what's really going on. He's using this as an example. He he's not happy about what he did. By the day he had to fight for his life. Mm -hmm. he, I like the way he went about it though. No, he kept it hundred. He kept it straight hundred. But, you know, what happened is, like, the fact that, you know, he had to leave stuff off, like he said, he didn't want to incriminate some people. Yeah, like and that. himself. Yeah, and stuff. But what happened is, when they found out it wasn't him killing the uh, the other person, they was like, oh, you you, you, you act like you caught a body. Like He never know. said. See, that's why I don't like the internet. Mm -hmm. They they hear, they have selective hearing. He, he was not, that's not even the point he was trying to make. He trying to say and that. I caught that the first time. Yeah, that's crazy. Unfortunately, this man had the quicker draw, and it, however, whatever went on is whatever went on. And I apologize, and I'm sorry for this man and his family and everything that went on. But which I'm not going to do. It's just a narrative to try to make me he look like a fucked up nigga man, amongst my people and people that love me. Like I'm out here slandering and trying to get some cream or credit or clout for none of that. What I spoke on is I fought, and I didn't even want to speak on that. But what the business that was stood on is that I fought for my life for myself and my brothers and I left with all my jewelry on, his blood on my body, a black on my eye. That man didn't know what went on between me and that man. He know what went on and what, what went down. Just like he know what went on and whatever business went down. Just like, like, you know, like you look me in my eyes like I looked you in my eyes before I went with my mood like you went with your mood. Hey man, I could have been laying on the ground like that last man, but at the end of the day, it wasn't what you was expecting. Just like the same thing it wasn't with him. So unfortunately, because somebody did something stupid and our young kings is being misled wrong to do dumb shit thing for, for greed and fortune and money, we killing yeah. ourselves and losing our lives. Main points right there. And then we see people doing that like, we we hear about people snatching people jewelry just for the money though, like just for the just for the fame, so they can say, oh, I, I yeah, I, I took this person jewelry, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, like pe that's what people are doing, but they don't understand how dangerous that situation could be. Lies, but what the problem is, is y'all looking for the miss and not the message. Mm. Oh man, oh man, no. P and B. I can't. I still can't believe this shit, man. This this is a from a witness perspective of it. He was actually at the Waffle House when this actually happened. So Damn, he's yo. gonna tell you exactly like how he seen it. Yeah, they really walked right in there, boy, and try to rob him and popped him, bro, a few times. And in daylight too, in broad daylight. Same, it's getting crazy. The block is hot. Niggas ain't even been care. out here long enough. Niggas just seen a nigga get smoked in front. And it just had everything motherfucking taped off. Just let us go finally. That shit was crazy, nigga. We in there sitting with the kids eating, and that shit pop off, nigga, all over some fucking jewelry and Rolex and all that type of shit. That shit ain't crazy, man. So we are back on this motherfucking freeway. And like, we see how y'all doing it, nigga. We don't want none of them problems, nigga. I'm out. It's crazy. Being a fan. Everybody and their mama saying the same thing. They saying they don't want none of it. Oh, bro. Because, like, you there sitting there with your family. You demons eating. Are out. The demons are out, bro. The demons are out. Like, they really, like, come on, bro. They, they, it's getting disgusting right now. It's getting disgusting. But you could hit kids. You could hit innocent people, like, all for the money. All for jewelry, y'all. I'm telling you, bro. It's nasty. The demons are out.
Netflix to check it out now. Ho ho li. Now, ladies and gentlemen, L.A. is a mess right now. Now, it really all started when the LAPD, like, commissioner came out and said, yo, if you ain't from L.A. and you come here, we can't guarantee your safety. Wow. Wait. Tricky? Now the commissioner even telling you that? No, ain't no way, boy. But you know what? That reminds me of how, like, when somebody say purge, you know, when they allow you. Because once you tell somebody that you're as a police and you're saying, I can't stop this shit. What do you think the people that's on the other side are going to think? They're going to say, oh, you can't stop it? That means I can continue doing this shit. Why do you think the, the rise of that shit is happening? Because you, you as the freaking, the law, the enforce, you can't stop it. It's bad. Yeah, don't 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 be sliding to LA guys with like that, bro. This shit crazy. You're telling me that the commissioner of police of the LAPD is telling its citizens crazy. and tourists that it can't guarantee that they won't get shit, robbed or anything <laughs> else because they can't have a control of crime. Yes, exactly what I'm saying. But let me tell you why that that is. Listen, L.A. has turned into, really California, has turned into a place where there's no consequences for crime. Because of that, you're having people doing bold and brazen attacks on regular And it's it's just like Chicago. In broad daylight, people getting gunned down. You walking in in a restaurant full of people eating families, and you just blazing someone down? Mm. Oh, somebody wrote it, too. That's the purge. Yes. People don't care. Yeah, because once you once you look like you don't have no control, and then like it's like cops don't exist to them. They got the same problem Chicago got in these other states. It's the same thing. Yeah, because like if you're not getting punishments and shit, it's not like niggas like oh shit. They gonna they run wild. People run wild for that shit. Civilians. Now they're also targeting people of high stature. People oh, who wear jewelry. Sad. People who flaunt. People who live in big houses. You know why? There is little to no repercussions if they get caught. That's now, recently, a lot it. of people are kind of catching on and people are fighting back. However, these guys in L.A. have shown that they're not only carrying a gun with them to potentially scare somebody into giving up a watch or a chain. They're down to catch a body and kill someone. Now, if you guys yeah, don't know, my guy PNB rocking. Me and PNB, like, that's my guy, okay? Um, me and him, we yeah, communicate man, offline about a bunch of different things. You know what I mean? Cool. Um, I've been mad supportive in and the, the fact that he's not consultation type person, like he's like more to himself. You don't hear him in, you know what I mean? Like these type of, like, like try to boost, oh, I'm a gangster. It's more like, of course he will defend himself, but I'm not a gangster. Like he don't portray himself as this type of shit, but. It's lost. It, 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 I wasn't, ex- it's just, I don't know. It just. But like it's so thing. unexpected. It's like, damn, dude, just sitting down eating with his girl. Fam, you know what I'm saying? And this shit with all that, oh, it's just crazy. Yeah, it's nasty, bro. And you know the crazy part about it, like a DJ Academics even had a clip when he was sitting a sit down with him, talking about like yo people just been harassing him just because he has jewelry and shit, which is it's but that, but the thing is he just said in there they going after people with status if, if you if you flexing money on the gram if they know you got big house you a target, a target. that's what he just said in his music and also his career getting back on the road just because you know he's now an independent artist you know he's a guy who also like you know Man. vice versa he might see something on my page and like he just recently hit me like yo Akio, did you mean to mistype this wasn't even about him but it's a guy who like we communicate a lot okay anyway he stays in la okay he was in la with this girl they go out to eat at the waffle house what i've been told this is the worst waffle house in town okay the most ghetto ratchet waffle house i don't know why he Man. went there but that's where he went now he went to that spot and Essentially, what ended up happening is that um, while he was there, okay, his girl posted like a little uh, a picture of the spot oh, the with location. the location. Oh, 20 minutes later, people fuck. show up trying to rob him specifically, mm. and Damn. he wasn't going. They sh- Damn. That's deep. You deep. Because once people hear drops and shit, and you, like you say, the statue. He probably, PNB rock like everybody he probably knows. didn't even catch that though that his girl did that he probably didn't catch it probably didn't because he, he just you know you sitting with your girl you, you not really you know what I mean of course of course damn yeah. man that location shit it just damn, that, they know where you at right they, now they just said, currently they know where you they, at currently that post they gonna swim around that place 
I know Shorty probably feel like it's her fault though. Ain't like she gonna, she gonna. That would that would get me like that would kill me inside. Yeah, she gonna feel she gonna feel some type of way. You know how traumatized that is. You sitting with your man and somebody walking and gun him down in front of you. Yes. What the fuck? The fuck? <laughs> yeah, and this is the last post. The academic post right here. Yeah. So he really gone. It's official. Find out the fish he did. Damn, man. This is Damn. this year starting off real bad. I'm not going to lie. This year is creepy, though. Jesus, check it out now. When will this stuff stop? Ladies and gentlemen, uh, unfortunately, I have to report the passing of PNB Rock, 30 year old rapper out of Philadelphia. He's young as fuck. Um, he basically was at Roscoe's Chicken and Waffle with his girlfriend, trying to have lunch real quick. When a guy pulled up, hopped out of a car, he had a mask on, he had a gun. He ran up on PNB Rock, was trying to take his jewelry, trying to take his bracelets, his chain, and when he didn't get them in the uh, manner he wanted to. Oh! He didn't get them in the manner that he wanted to? What that mean? He didn't PNB, get it right away? The PNB fight back. Oh, man. Honestly, damn. That's PNB's character, bro. But you know the thing is? Some men, like, that's their pride. Yeah, like, they yeah. won't let you take their shit. And sometimes, like, damn, man. Like, is it? Because <sighs> some niggas not going for He's that. They're not going to let you take their jewelry. Even though, like, you could give it to them and then hope that they don't kill you. You can hope that they don't still take your life, right? Yeah, yeah. You can give them your jewelry. Nice but stuff. at the end of the day, the fact that y'all kill this man over his fucking jewelry, bro. Yeah. Like, Demons are out, bro. This shit is whack. It's getting whack. Demons are out, bro. He shot PNB Rock several times in the chest, okay? The ambulance and the police were called immediately. Huh, bro? But within the hour, within the Damn, hour, PNB Rock was declared and pronounced dead. Come on, in There's the chest There's gruesome videos area. about his death and people who recorded it. Um, those are tasteless, and I don't even want to really address them. It's sad when people's last moments are captured. Like that, because it's gonna be there for all to see that forever. That is true. Um, I knew PMB Rock. PMB Rock was a very cool dude. In the last thirty days, me and him spoke about every day. Um, we texted a lot. You know, I texted with his manager a lot too. And essentially, the the reality is that PNB Rock um, was trying to make a comeback in music. And I know a lot of people are being very pretentious, and everybody loves him today. But that the reality really is that the cool, music man. industry gave up on PNB Rock. PNB Rock hit me up, wanted to do an interview, and we actually scheduled this for like months. Like he was ready to do an interview where he could just be really, just show his humanity because people kept looking at him for his past mistakes. People wouldn't give him a second chance. The little B incident, the the Hotel P incident. People wouldn't give him a second chance. Even though sometimes they didn't know the full situation behind some of those events. He wasn't on Atlantic no more. He was an independent artist. See, I'm just and learning that too. He, I didn't know he was independent. Yeah, yeah. Damn. That, that says a lot about, you know, what mm -hmm. he was trying to do. Mm -hmm. He hit me up. I try to use every resource I could to try to help him. I try to connect him with Spotify. I try to connect him with other things that, again, he's newly independent. He never did this before. But while talking to him, I That's heard a, a lot of things. Move, man. Yeah. Shout out to him. A lot of people who really used to be banging with him hard. They all left him. They turned their backs on him. Man, That's, how, That's how all the people you see right now yeah. posting the pictures. They wouldn't answer a text message. Wow. They wouldn't see, back that's verse. that's another thing too. People are so flawed in this world. It be like now they care. It, and it's true. Somebody said that in the lyrics. It, when when you die, people now people wake up like now they care. Mm -hmm. But you didn't give me my flowers when I was alive. You didn't give me those flowers. Bro, they only fuck when you and you up, bro. People only fuck when you and you up, bro. If you down, bro, it's over. Like, niggas, niggas ducking you, ghosting you, and all that. It be like that. It's fast. Because if he wasn't hot at the moment, he was of no use to them. Yep. So when I see a lot of people on social media, they fake, and everybody's they fake so as pretentious, fuck. and everybody's on For a high real. horse, and everybody's mad at really everybody but. The person who killed him, pretentious. I texted this man for 30 days straight while he was trying to not only figure out his music release. Damn, man. He was also trying to figure out how to make it as an independent artist with no help. Everybody. And that's not and an easy thing to do. I heard yeah. the stories. All the artists that he used to rock with, 
they all didn't want to rock with him no more because he wasn't hot. Dang. But as soon as he died, everybody it was cared. a great moment for everybody to grandstand. Mm. Again, that is an ancillary issue. The biggest issue here is gun violence. The biggest issue Facts. here is that there's some guy running around L.A. with a mask on and a gun who think he's playing God. The biggest issue here is that PNB Rock leaves behind a daughter, Damn. a girlfriend. And I know some of y'all going to say, well, well, the girlfriend posted the address. But we don't know if we that's really the don't reason. don't know who is to be blamed for yeah. giving up that address. Yeah. We don't know. Let's be clear. L.A. is a gang city. The guy who's in the back, in the kitchen, he could have just mm. made the call. The he made a good point because at the end of the day, you went to the most ghetto mm. um, chicken spot, mm. what, Roscoe, mm. Roscoe spot, and, and he, like he said, LA is a gang city, so mm. anybody is anybody in LA. You don't know, you don't know who to trust. Oh, that's crazy. He just broke it down. Yeah, that's crazy. So we can't yeah. automatically blame Shorty. Like we don't know. Mm-hmm. People Damn. sitting at the tables close to PMB could have made the call. Say, it could be the spot. manager of the store. Who knows? Damn. So it's super. You know, uh, premature to start placing blame, especially on his girlfriend at this time. But I know she feel bad. Yeah, this is all the I'm time just here for to that, say, though. man. Um, she got a lot of When does it stop? To deal with. I watched a man who was trying to make a comeback in the game, and I yeah, watched bro. him having to lean on people even like me for resources because the game that game helped him and – Praised him while he was on top. That's one thing I can say about the music game. The music game is dirty. Because when you ain't hot no more, everybody turned their back on you. Mm -hmm. And the fact that this man was independent, trying to make a comeback so he can provide a future for his kid and take care, you know, and take care of himself. This happened? Mm -hmm. That's that's, that's crazy. Come on, bro. Nah, nah. This is, nah, he ain't deserve that. That's That's crazy. crazy. Once his career cooled down a little bit, they didn't care. Um, rest in peace Damn, to PNB bro. Rock. This shit's so I said unreal. to his family. Um, Damn, bro. Unfortunately, your your mission wasn't complete because his mission was to get back to being one of the top artists in the game again. Damn. So sad that he got gunned down at a young age. Rest in He's peace, He's young, bro. Sheesh. Fam, fam, fam. Let me know what y'all think. This one's crazy, man. Live in color, we is out. <laughs> <laughs>